Oi, lindezas. Eu sou a Má. Eu já tô aqui na Irlanda tem quase 10 anos. Fala, galera, que tá falando com vocês. É o Edu mais uma vez e dessa vez os gringos vão provar cachorro quente, o nosso clássico dogão. Acreditem ou não, cachorro quente por aqui é uma coisa bem diferente dessa loucura que a gente faz no Brasil. E o mais legal de tudo é que a gente pode fazer isso tudo virtualmente usando o aplicativo do Brasil. Com o aplicativo do Brasil a gente consegue pedir comidinhas brasileiras deliciosas nos restaurantes mais gostosos aqui de Dublin e mandar diretamente pra casa dos nossos amigos gringos pra eles provarem e vocês verem aqui no YouTube. Olha que loucura. Baixa aí o aplicativo do Brasil pra você ver os restaurantes que tem lá as comidinhas deliciosas. E agora vamos lá ver o cachorro quente que o pessoal do Dom mandou para os nossos amigos hoje. Hello! Hi guys! Hi! I'm Maggie. And I'm Jen. I'm from Kosovo. And I'm from France. Hello! Hi! How are you doing, Ma? I'm great. How are you, amigo? I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Good to hear from you. Hello, okay, guys. Hello. 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 My name is Vivi. I'm from Greece. My name is Johnny. I'm from Dublin. Today we're trying Cachorro Quente. Cacho what? Cachorro Quente. No. Cachorro Quente. Or Cachorro Quente. It can't be anything. <laughs> Get my old man glasses now. So just bear with me there, youngsters. Cachorro. Cachorro. Quente. Amigo, very good. Cachorro quente. Quente, yes, that's it. Come on. Quente, it's all about the ch 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 Never forget the ch yeah. Yes, the quente. Yeah. So let's see what the guys from Brazil and Dom restaurant sent to you today. Thank you, Brazil, for sponsoring this video. It looks long. That's what she said. What um, comprises a cachorro quente, ma? I'm very curious. I really want to know. I don't know. Have you ever eaten a Brazilian hot dog? I have drunk in Sao Paulo at five o'clock in the morning and it was wonderful. <laughs> and basically this is a hot dog. What's what's the actual meaning of this? So yeah, so cachorro quente means hot dog and you're gonna try today like a traditional Brazilian style hot dog. Okay, so you're gonna see it's different from any hot dogs you've ever had before, I bet. This was made by Dom. Wait, don't look, we should him first. Okay, we should him first. Wait, 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 wait. The paper, guys, is amazing. We love trying paper. Whoa! What? <laughs> guys! What is that, honestly? This in front of you, it's a Brazilian style hot dog. You guys always have to make things so like, dramatica! <laughs> Please dig in, tell us what you think, what okay. ingredients you find. Okay. We want to know it all. Oh my god. It's like it's like little, little 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 chips. Or in American English it's French fries. Or in Ireland we would say chips. Right, little chips, ma. Mmm. Mmm. We also have an ingredient there that is very common. Uh, well, not an ingredient, but something, a, a food that is very common here in Ireland. You eat a lot and we put it in our hot dogs. Did you notice what it is? It's a mashed potato. You see, Brazil and Ireland, one little happy family in a mashed potato world. Unbelievable. Look, there we go. Look at this. My Can God. it get better than it this? It doesn't even look like a hot dog. It looks like a big sandwich that will fill you for the day. That's a potato. We need a second bite because it's still the bread. <laughs> How do you put that in your mouth? I have a big mouth. That's what she said. I should be fine. <laughs> okay, we give it a try then. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. How many things do you have in there? Sorry, talking about mouth. Well, I haven't really counted because there's just so many. There's so many things. You want to put this inside as well after? There's so many things <laughs> happening in my mouth at the same time. So in Brazil, we it, it's a, like we have a very specific way of making hot dogs, and we add a lot of things that you don't find in hot dogs anywhere else. Of course, we have the sausage, but we also have like mashed potatoes, vinaigrette, bacon, crisp like potato, melted oh, really? picanha, sweet corn. That's an amazing idea, seriously. And talking about ingredients, if our friends were watching the linguiça sausage um, videos from last week, something similar that happens in Brazil. Um, like your different styles of sausage. This is almost like a calabresa style. This sausage. Yeah, it's a calabresa style. It's amazing. This is insane. Oh my god. Uh, Ma, I do not know what uh, the topping is. I know this cheese, but I can't I can't mm. name the other ingredient. Mm. Or maybe it's just no. cheese. So you don't know what it is, and it's something that the Irish people eat all the time. So it is potato, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. 
So you have mashed potatoes and you also have like some crisps that are really thin, which is batata palha, which is like crisps alumet. Ah, you see? It looks like like crisps, um, really thin ones. Yeah, it makes our like uh, really crunchy. It is genius, this <laughs> hot dog. It's not just <laughs> bread and a sausage. Hot dog, hot dog. No. Oh. Mm. It has um, tomato sauce as well. <laughs> Proper tomato sauce. The bread is green and nice. It's not just, you know, a piece of bread you get there. It has the melted cheese. It has this um, crisps. The, how did you call them again? Say crisps, that again. Crisps. Batata palha. It's a really nice. The salsa here as well, you see, to add on top. It is genius. I'm not joking. What can you taste there? It's inside. Mm. Look at everything you have. Taste the cheese. A little bit of cheese. A lot of cheese. Why do you put mashed potatoes in it? It's I've brilliant. never tried bread with mashed potatoes it's like this. brilliant, but why? <laughs> I've never had such things, to be honest. It's brilliant. Honestly, it's just all the best dishes put in one. A heart attack waiting to happen, basically. <laughs> That's the best hangover deal you can have. No? Oh my god, yes. Mm -hmm. After hangover. Mm -hmm. In Brazil, what we used to do, like at least when I was younger, is after you leave the nightclubs, and believe me, mm -hmm. nightclubs, they close at like 5, 6, 7 a.m. in Brazil. <laughs> so, on the way back home, we just bought these huge hot dogs in just like food trucks on the streets mm -hmm. at like 6 in the morning, and it was just Perfect yeah, yeah. after the, a night out. How, how do you eat? How do you make hot dogs in your countries? Like, what do you put in them? We, we have a bun. Well, uh, the, the American, uh, no, the Irish hot dog is kind of modeled, I suppose, off the American hot dog. So it's kind Same of. Same like, in Greece, unfortunately. It's just, you know, the bun and then. Um, Frankfurter. Sausage. Frankfurter, yeah. like German style sausage. Yeah. And then on top, just uh, onions and mustard onions, and ketchup. Sad, 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 very sad. American style. Very American style. Mm, normal, like the normal. Small bread, obviously, they try to make it as small as possible. A sausage, and they put chips, and mayonnaise, and ketchup, and some onions. Same. When we first started doing um, or started having hot dogs in Ireland, there was lettuce and diced onion, everything thrown. Like it, it was, it was almost more like a baguette, almost like like a French baguette with with a with a big sausage thrown in the middle. It was almost like we were still trying to learn how to do it. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do any kind of food, but it definitely wasn't like this. Like if you said to an Irish person today, like you know, or even my family, oh today I was having a hot dog with mashed potato in it, they'd have me signed into a lunatic asylum. Thank you so much to the guys from Dom. Can I have one more bite? Of course, please, amigo, go oh, ahead. My God. Ah, mm. this is amazing. Um, is there anything else that you'd usually put into a? I think I had sweet corn in a hot dog in Brazil. Am I not mistaken? We do put a lot of we do put sweet corn a lot of the times as well. The other version that Dom has, they have sweet corn in it as well, along oh. with some other stuff. It also has bacon. <laughs> yes, yes, it has bacon as well. With the tomato sauce, mm. with the cheese, potato. Look, look, look how gorgeous that is, you see? I'm, I'm going to um, follow, follow Vivi um, and uh, 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 Salsa inside the hot dog. Customization. Oh, oh, <laughs> spectacular. This tiny bit of thing with the peppers, the tomato and the onion, if you add it to the hot dog, explosion all over. So which which one do you prefer then? The the like the regular? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a question? Ma, where is your restaurant located? Dom restaurant is in Renala, Dublin 6. Ooh, ah. they do delivery. They do delivery in through Brazit's app. Oh, that's a new app, yeah? Yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> Final score there, out of 10. What is that? It's big 10, seriously. If there's any Irish people watching this, guys, get curious. Get on to the guys here on Jom. It's absolutely amazing. It's the reason why they're called Jom, because it rhymes with nom, which is nom, 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 nom in, in, in English for really good food. It's nom, nom, nom from Jom. Unbelievable. Um, 10 for me. I'm going to deduct half a point just because I cannot fit the whole thing in my mouth. You're joking, right? That's not fair. It's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. I'm a he. Yes, it's a 10. <laughs> Oh, 10. 10 out of 10 as far as hot dogs go, 10, 10 out of 10. 10, 10, 10. Would you eat it again? I, I need this again and again oh. and again and again and again. <laughs> no, we gave it 10 and we wanted it again. Of course we will again. And then a quick little plug for the guys from John because I got another little bag. Let's see, it says Dear Ross as well. 
Enjoy your meal with love, E O M. John, and oh, it's a love heart. Ah, isn't that love? Ah, see, that's what they did. That's, that's, that's so romantic and lovely. Job. The absolute Dom Gourmet, it is absolutely a pleasure to, to taste this. It's one of the best hot dogs I've had. Yeah. Top dog. Amazing, guys. So what do people have to do if they want to see you again trying more food? All you have to do is hashtag Volta Vivi. Hashtag Volta Johnny. They have to hashtag Volta Gringos. Oh my god, Jan. <laughs> hashtag Jan and Maggie. Volta Jan and Maggie. So yeah, ha- ha- hashtagging people. If you want to see me come back, guys, use the hashtag Volta Ross, Volta Gringos, bring everybody back. Try to keep you entertained through all these crazy, crazy times. And thank you so much to my family in E Dublin for having me. And uh, we can't wait to try more of this deliciousness. And don't forget the Braz Eats application because everything you want, you'll find it in there. Excellent. I'm pretty sure. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Obrigado. Thank you. Obrigado. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. E aí, gostaram do vídeo? Não esquece de curtir, compartilhar, se inscrever no canal e ativar o sininho para saber sempre que tiver notificação. Se você tem alguma coisa muito diferente da sua região aí no Brasil que consiga viajar até aqui para Irlanda, manda um e-mail lá no contato que eu posso trazer e dar para os nossos amigos gringos. Afinal de contas, eu tô indo passar o Natal no Brasil. Se você tem um amigo gringo, uma amiga gringa que você quer que prove comidinha, ou se você faz comidas também, você pode mandar para gente. Muito obrigada, pessoal do Brasil. Muito obrigada, pessoal do Dom, pelo cachorro-quente maravilhoso. E a gente se vê no próximo vídeo. Um beijinho. Tchau.